Measures of dispersion, talking about how data is spread out. So, minimum, smallest number, maximum, largest number. They're pretty easy to find. Quartile, split the halves in half. I'll show you how that works. Range is your largest number minus your smallest number. Interquartile range is going to be your third quartile minus your first quartile. Again, show you how that works. Before I get into this, I'm going to put these numbers in order. You don't usually need to put them in order just to find minimums and maximums, but you are going to need to put them in order to find the quartiles. So, maximum. Clearly up top here, put them in order is easy to find. Minimum, all the way down here. My range then is going to be. Maximum, 76, minus minimum, 13, or 63. Okay, that means that my data is spread over, spread across a, a distance of 63. That's what the range is. My data is spread across a distance of 63. It's 63 from the smallest to the largest number. Quartiles. In order to find the quartiles, first you have to find the median that will cut your, your data in half. So we've done that before. If you looked at measures of center, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. This is my median. That is a measure of center, not a measure of dispersion, but I use it then to find my quartiles and quartiles will be the center of the upper set center of everything above the median so that's right here all right one two one two it's like the median of everything above the median and first quartile will be the center the middle of everything below the median all right one two one two this is the first quartile this is the third quartile. All right, they cut my halves in half is what I said there. And then, same, similar to a range, an interquartile range will be, take this number, subtract that number, 63 minus 19. Now, this is a coincidence right here that the third quartile and the range are the same. That doesn't usually happen. 63 minus 19 is 44. Again, this is giving me a distance. The distance from my first to my third quartile is 44. The middle 50% of my data is spread over 44, a distance of 44. That's the information that's given to me, measures of dispersion. Quartiles, split the halves in half. After you find a median, minimum is the smallest, maximum is the largest, range is the distance from the smallest to the largest. Interquartile range is the distance from one quartile to the other. Another example. So again, minimum 101, maximum 121. Range is 121 minus 101, so the range. 20. In order to find the quartiles, you have to find the median first. That's our median. Similar to the median, if when I am splitting my lower half in half, I end up with two numbers in the center, I want to find a number halfway between them. You can use the formula, add the numbers and divide by two. All right, 104.5. Again, if you're using a calculator, make sure you put your numerator in parentheses. Or if you can figure out, all right, again, upper quartile, two numbers in the center. 
figure out the number that's halfway between them without using the formula, you may. Split my halves in half, quartile one. Split my half in half, quartile three. Interquartile range is Upper quartile minus lower quartile, 117 minus 104.5, 12.5. Ranges, how you distances over which things are spread. Quartiles split your data into quarters along with the median. So a quarter of the data, right? Two pieces here, quartile. Two pieces, median. Two pieces, quartile. Two pieces. Splits it into equal sized quarters.